I'm working on a bespoke pin and this is going to be the cap for that pin and you can see that it's already been drilled and tapped. What I need to do is I need to have a mandrel to hold this so that I can go ahead and shape it, sand it, and polish it. And I don't have a mandrel so I'm going to make one. This is a piece of aluminum and basically I'm going to take a few measurements of my cap and I'm going to build a custom mandrel for this style bespoke pin cap. I took a measurement of the inside of my blank with my calipers and it came out to about 53.03 millimeters. I have transferred that distance to my aluminum rod and taking a quick measurement of the diameter of the rod, you can see that it is 12.79 millimeters. We're going to go ahead and find the dimension of the front section of our cap. We're going to turn this down to that diameter and then we'll thread the back section with an M13.8 die. Measuring the inside of my cap until it starts to taper, I can see that it's a distance of 31.76 millimeters. I've transferred that distance to my aluminum rod. On this particular bespoke cap, I used a 23 64 inch drill bit to drill down the center of the cap, which equates to about 9.21 millimeters. So we're going to turn this section of our aluminum rod down to 9.2 millimeters. Since I don't have the proper tools for turning metal, what I'm going to do is use a file to get the end of this blank down to the proper diameter. And what I learned from some folks who do a little bit of uh, work, metal work with files, they said to put a little chalk on your file and that will keep the file from loading up with the aluminum shavings. As you can see, this is going to be a long, drawn-out process, so I'm going to shut the camera off while I go ahead and finish filing this down to the proper diameter. I've got my aluminum rod turned down to the proper diameter. What I need to do now is adjust the chuck so that the, the rod comes farther out so that I can begin threading the end of the rod. I'm ready to go ahead and tap this back section up to this line and maybe just a little bit past the line. That way I'll be able to use this same mandrel for different size Caps. I've got an M13.8 die in my die holder and I'm ready to begin tapping. I've reversed my die in the die holder and I'm going to go ahead and run it back up on the threads in reverse just to clean them up. Now that we've got our threads cut, we can go ahead and thread our cap onto the mandrel and we're ready to start turning it down to the proper shape. I was in the house editing my video and I got all the way down to the end to the point where I'm ready to go ahead and render it to a, uh, a file that can be sent to YouTube and I realized I never shot a closing. <laughs> um, this was really an interesting project. It, it, it came out of necessity. I'm working on a pen. I've done two parts part one and part two in, in the series and I was working on the cap which that video will be out shortly I need to finish turning it and I needed the, the mandrel that I had would not fit this new style of cap that I made so I, out of necessity I needed to make a mandrel and that's what spawned this video my camera was already set up because I was filming the cap I thought why not let's just go ahead and, and shoot uh, shoot some video and show it to you guys and maybe it'll it'll help somebody so uh, I really hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, I, I, I like the fact that I'm able to do things like this. I've got a, a good collection of tools now and it really, you know, with, with the taps and the dies and it really helps when you can make a tool that you need. And I'm enjoying that. Uh, I'm really enjoying this whole bespoke adventure. I like the fact that there are some rules, but there are very few rules, you know, and, and you can be as creative as you want to be. and to me, uh, 
I mean, it's, it's just, it's all I can think about. You know, I come out to the shop and I've got pins over here that I want to turn that are kitted pins. And I go straight to the lathe and start working with the kitless stuff. It is totally addicting. Uh, I, I really love it. And I'm enjoying the fact that I'm sharing it with all of you and I'm getting so much great input, so much great response. Every video I put out there, there there's a dialogue that's happening with, with the viewers and I'm learning as much from you as you guys are from me. I'm probably, I'm learning more. And, and I wanna say thank you to everyone who's following along with this adventure and making it so incredible for me. I'm gonna keep going as long as I can and uh, I hope you guys keep watching. And with that, I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a wonderful evening, everybody.